Hello everybody, my name is Code Blue, and welcome back to another Code Blue tutorial. Now in this video we're going to take a quick look at frame time and what it is. We're going to kind of cover how it can be useful but we'll be using it in later tutorials which is why we're covering it now. So I'm going to hop over real quick into Photoshop here. Um, so now I explained in an old video of mine. I'm trying to think which one it is. I don't think I can remember. Um, but I went over the process, uh, the process of rendering a single frame in a game. So it starts by doing all of the logic, um, which could be, you know, physics, your Lua scripts, whatever. Um, then it goes down and does, for example, the, uh, it goes to the GPU and does all of the graphical rendering. Once this is done, it then outputs that image to your screen and it starts the cycle all over again. Now, let's say your game is running at 60 frames per second, or 60 FPS. That means that your computer is completing this task 60 times a second. Um, if you're running at 30 frames per second, then it's doing it 30 times a second. So, I hope that kind of makes sense. Now, the what what frame time is, frame time is the time in milliseconds it took to render the previous frame. So, let's say we start from the top. We do um, all of our logic stuff, and then we do all of our graphic stuff, and we get to this end. Uh, we then, you know, logged how long that took. Let's say that took 0 0.03 seconds, okay? Um, and then it'll do it all over again, and then the next time it'll go ahead and it'll give me this number, okay? Now, the reason why this number is important is because let's say we're running at 60 frames per second. This number is going to be 0 0.03. Now, it's not going to be that number. We're just using this as an example. So it's going to be 0 0.03, but if we're running at 30 frames a second, which means it has taken twice as long to render the frames as somebody running at 60 frames per second, this number is going to be 0 0.06 instead. So you'll notice how it's double because the game is running half as slow. I hope that kind of makes sense to some of you. Now, the reason why this could be useful is because let's say we wanted to add, uh, in a think hook, we wanted to add 10 to the variable x, okay? Now, here's the thing. We do it once, okay? And we add 10, uh, so we say x um, plus 10, okay? Then we come around to the next frame, because remember, think runs every frame. We come to the next frame, we add 10, etc. And by one second, um, let's say x is uh, 2,000, okay? Now, let's say I try it on a different computer, and this different computer runs at 30 frames per second. That means that this think hook is going to be called half as often as running uh, as when it's running at 60 frames per second. So if I were to do the same thing, x plus 10 every frame, x would only equate to 1000 by the time that one second has passed, if that makes sense, because the code's not being run as often, so as much is not being added. Um, and now this is where things will get a little confusing, but in Gmod, you can get the frame time, the time it took to render the previous frame. And if we multiply this number 10 by frame time, so do a little star, and we'll say uh, FR for frame time, okay? So if we times that by frame time, now let's say that we're running at 60 FPS, okay? Remember frame time is 0 0.03. So this is going to be uh, 10 times 0 0.03, right? So it's going to go ahead and it's going to do our equation. Let's say at the end of that, it won't be, but again, we're just pretending that at the end of that uh, one second, it's going to be 2000, okay? Now, let's say we do the same thing again, this time at 30 FPS. This 0 0.03 is going to be 0 0.06. So the number that it's adding to X would be twice as large as previous. But because it doesn't get run so often, it equates to the exact same number after the same amount of time. Now, I know that may have been completely confusing to some of you, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up um, Sublime and I'm going to say uh, local player. You have to excuse my type in, chat print, and I'm going to print frame time, okay? Now, this little frame time function, that's how you get the, the frame time, of course. Um, so I'm going to quickly go in here and save it as uh, example.lua and there will be a little pause in the video because I have to go launch Gary's mod, but I will see you in a minute. So now while this is loading up, I also want to explain um, in my little example here, I pointed out that if we're running at 30 frames per second um, or we're running at 60, okay? Now, now even if you're going to be running at the same FPS, it's always important to use frame time 
because and if you haven't noticed it already just by showing an fps counter you will notice it a game never runs at like exactly 60 fps forever it always changes sometimes it goes a little slower sometimes goes a little um higher and that's the point of frame time is if you want something to be consistent um when it's based on frame rate then you need to use frame time so let's go ahead and we'll say lua open script cl and it was called example um and you can see in our chat oh that was me being extremely silly i do apologize um hook dot add oh my gosh my typing um for those of you who are wondering why my typing is bad um i currently have my keyboard at a weird angle and i am typing on my other screen so it's it's extremely awkward um but if i go ahead and i rerun the script you can see that there's a tiny number right now in my chat that's going crazy okay it's changing extremely fast um and you know we can't really keep track of that number but the point of that number is uh like that that's that's kind of here let me just show you an example okay before here we're gonna have uh local x equals zero okay and we're gonna say x is equal to x plus one okay actually we're just gonna we'll, we'll add 0 0.25 just so it's a bit easier um and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna print out x okay so now when we run our script as you can see, um, it, is, it is going up extremely fast. I'm going to say uh, net graph 10. Um, and as you can see, we're running at uh, just over 200 FPS right now. Uh, well, that's what it looks on my screen. Um, and as you can see, the number is going up that fast. Okay, but if I did CL underscore, I think it's FPS underscore. Yeah, FPS underscore max. This is how you limit your FPS. And if I limit my FPS to just 10, uh, let me go ahead and let me disconnect. Limit my FPS to 10 okay so 30 is the minimum so we'll limit to 30 um and we'll go ahead and we'll restart uh that game now just remember the speed that it was going at before um we'll skip back in the video and now what you'll see is now that as you can see my fps is locked at 30 if i run that same script can you see just how much slower it's going up now because rather than that that 0 0.25 being added you know uh say 200 times a second it's now only being added 30 times a second but what we can do is we can times it by frame time just like that and what you'll see is is the first thing you'll notice is that it'll actually look like it's going slower okay you'll see how it looks like it's going a little slower um and that's because it is uh, frame time is an extremely small number and we're times it by a small number so it's going to make the number smaller so let's go ahead and we'll change this to 25 instead and when we restart the script, you can kind of see that speed that is going up, you know, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So what we'll do last time now, before I end the video, we'll disconnect. I will set the FPS max back to 300. And I will go ahead and I will jump back into the game. And what you'll see now is even though we're running at a much higher FPS, uh, we're still going up at that same speed. So I hope that made sense to, uh, to some of you at least. Um, but that's where frame time is useful. It has way more uses than what I've just shown you. Um, but we'll be seeing those in later videos. But just know that, like, let's say uh, if you if you want to know kind of where this could be useful, let's say you was making a sprint script. And whenever there's sprinting, you needed to, did, like, every frame deduct a number from a variable, um, which could be this stamina, for example. That That's where frame time becoming useful so that you could make everybody have consistent stamina such as that. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, there will be more videos probably tonight. Um, but thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.